To the competitors of the reality television program Bridalplasty, a show in which brides-to-be compete for a celebrity-style wedding and thousands of dollars worth of plastic surgery. What will your father say when he walks you down the aisle sporting a doctor's note instead of your nose? Will he ask your plastic surgeon to give you away knowing he took the more pivotal role in your creation? Does your grandmother believe in God? Does she lie in bed at night praying that your face will find you? Your great aunt's ears, your uncle's jaw, the cheekbones she brought over from Poland just to give to you? Did your mother beat you with a flat iron and a scale? Or did she call you beautiful too many times to believe her? How much do you hate your family that you must drill them out of your features? When you have a daughter, she will be made of wax. She will be attracted to tongue depressors and cellophane. Will you ban her from the television, fearing the reruns of your public audacity, the pilot episode, in which you stack puzzle pieces over your old frame, each one displaying a genetically perfect body part, what you could look like with the help of an exacto knife? Or will you present this Frankenstein hunger as a trophy? Spit shine it daily, hang it on the mantle. Your little girl will wonder why no pictures of you exist before your wedding. You will never have the right to call her pretty. And what if she is? Devastatingly so, will you have the stomach to be proud? When you kissed your fiance goodbye, did he want to steal your lips first, place them in a jar, preserve the way you felt, or is he the kind of man who likes the taste of plastic? Did you use his ring finger to purge yourself? Was it not enough that you found him? He already thought you were built like a goddess. You didn't have to dig deeper into the marble, didn't you know? You aren't supposed to tamper with holy things. Did you not respect him enough for finding you beautiful? If he hates the way his body feels next to the cool touch of a mannequin, will you leave him for a man who believes women look better in photographs? The first time my lover caressed my stomach, my body recoiled. I wanted to break his wrist, clear off his arm, begged him to leave that strip of skin barren and unnoticed. He said he would not, pressed each fingertip tight to my flesh. They whispered into me, you have 10 new reasons to love yourself completely. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota.